Hi everyone and welcome in the f this first tutorial video in English. Uh, I will make my best uh, to translate everything I do. Uh. Uh, when I start to to work on this um, this tentacle, I I decided to uh, add some uh, magnets um, on the base uh, to have uh, something more easy to paint. Uh, I need to add some uh, bigger magnets on the big uh, face of Tog, so uh, I put some uh, glue and I had uh, some um, magnets like that. It's not the perfect way, but it's. It's very easy and more easy after to to move my miniatures. I put this on the metal box uh, uh, before uh, to push some uh, primer, su uh, surface primer. I, I use Army Painter uh, Barbarian Flesh to have something uh, more easy to, to paint and uh, with uh, the good color. Uh, at uh, the beginning, I'm going to push some uh, shadow uh, with airbrush. I use uh, I use only pro color uh, uh, range uh, for my airbrush uh, to don't have too much uh, uh, to clean my airbrush. To have something, uh, it's like the brush. It's just here, and I. I never clean, uh, make big clean on my airbrush. So I push um, some uh, dark color, dark sea blue, and uh, I make sure that I not try to make it just in one step. I make that uh, in different steps and more I uh, push my color and more this color is uh, strong. It's like, um, it's like filter. I, 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 and more I, um, I paint and less I touch uh, surfaces so it's going to create a uh, degradee direct, uh, directly on the, uh, with, the, with, the, uh, with the same color. When I start uh, I don't really want to have some base in blue but finally uh, with that kind of miniatures it's work uh, very well because it seem, it seems like uh, it seems like it's uh, going from the the sea. Um, so as I explained, I, I put uh, it's it's look like a layer with airbrush. Uh, never try to put all the color in one step because you are going to push uh, the color uh, with um, the 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 wine from the airbrush, and it's going to make something like a little. Uh, uh, some really uh, bad things <laughs> so don't uh, try to uh, push too much color in just one step and uh, be sure to make some layer and to uh, uh, and, and be sure that when you make one more step it's going to be uh, the first one is uh, wet totally wet so now I'm going to uh, use some uh, red in answer to the blue and i'm going to uh, add more red on the on the on the last part of the miniatures in order to have something really uh something very really, um it's, it's to be sure that it seems like a beast i'm going to uh, put more and more uh, red on the um, in the hand of uh, my tentacle and every uh, small part from uh, all the miniatures. Uh, this is going to be a big part of this paint job because I, I really want something uh, simple. Uh, so uh, in this uh, in this case, I prefer to have some very uh, graphic uh, steel with my airbrush. Uh, it's going to be more easy and to have something more uh, quick to, to paint. Uh, in real time, um, the video is accelerated as you can see, and in real time it takes me something like uh, three hours to paint everything. Uh, three or four hours, I don't really uh, count in that case, but uh, it's very very uh, easy to, to paint. 
For everyone who likes miniatures, uh, there are some links on the, uh, on the side of the video uh, to our uh, new Kickstarter. Her name is Burnouts and it's a Kickstarter with miniatures and you can play your miniatures and make it evolve in a post-apocalyptic universe. So if you want to support us, don't hesitate to share this campaign and to support us on Kickstarter. <laughs> Thank you. After adding uh, this red everywhere, I'm going to uh, push uh, uh, once again uh, some red uh, um, as I explained, um, it's a layer, so we need to let uh, these parts uh, uh, going more wet before um, uh, push more and more uh, contrast on these red parts. Um, it's a little bit. Uh, um, it's preferable to take your time and to make sure that you have your uh, the good contrasts uh, when you use airbrush. Uh, you need to uh, to push this contrast a lot uh, to um, to be sure that uh, after with brush the the work and the painting job is will be very more easy. Uh, after these uh, things, I'm going to push uh, a more uh, dark color. So now it's it's blue. Uh, it's dark sea blue again, uh, but uh, I'm going to push it on the the very small hand of every uh, part to uh, add more contrast on the miniatures and on the, this beast. More I progress in the in this paint job, more I had some uh, 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 dark color. So as you can see, it's now it's completely uh, black. Uh, take care about the um, the black from pro color because it's very good, but it's very heavy. So if you are going to uh, paint some part in black, uh, take care about that. Um, as you can see, uh, um, the it's very important to uh, just push a little bit of paint uh, and time by time uh, going to add more and more uh, paint um, to be sure that the effect is a, is a good one. As you can see, I always had some black uh, around the base uh, to, to contrast uh, more the different color. As you can see, the work on the, the progress on the miniatures is very uh, quickly uh, because it's just um, uh, one only kind of uh, texture. It's only um, some kind of flesh. So it's more easy with airbrush when, in, uh, where, uh, when we are in th that uh, case. Uh, now I'm going to come with some uh, flesh color, um, a little bit uh, more... Uh, 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 desaturated. I don't know if it's a good word, but I think you you will understand. And I focus on the um, uh, on the um, point of light. I take care uh, about that because if I work too much uh, with airbrush and I touch too much uh, large surfaces, uh, I will have something very flat, and I need something very. Uh, it seems more deep. So um, I very foc uh, I focus a lot on uh, one point of light, uh, and step by step I um, uh, had more and more uh, um, light only on some little part. As you can see, um, it takes uh, more time to to work and to paint the the big face of the monster because there are more large surfaces. So don't hesitate to uh, always um, move uh, with airbrush uh, because if you stay a little bit too uh, long, um, the pressure of the um, the airbrush will uh, push more and more paint. Uh, and that's not a good point. Um, I check every time, as you can see, the um, the hand who have the airbrush uh, make uh, some movements, 
and the hand who uh, have um, the miniatures uh, make it turn to always reach um, a new uh, a new face and a new part. That's uh, something it can seems easy, but it's very important to understand that to have um, the, the the more efficient and the more. Uh, uh, efficacy when you use airbrush. I had some uh, white color in uh, my skin to uh, push one more time the highlight and to make sure that uh, highlight uh, is going to be uh, the, the more important. One more time I uh, fo focus uh, on only one point um, if you don't make that, you are going to erase uh, your last uh, uh, step with airbrush. So that's a very important point. Always and al always uh, try to uh, uh, reach and touch uh, small parts. Uh, step by step, you need to reach small, smaller, smaller parts to have uh, good contrasts and uh, uh, the most efficient uh, light on your mini. Donc, uh, so um, <laughs> I uh, yeah just uh, now I just come back with some uh, white and always uh, and like before I just touch a little part to finish my highlight. Um, don't hesitate to support us on uh, Kickstarter. Um, it's already uh, open, so that's cool if you can support us uh, now I, I use uh, some um, Tamiya stuff uh, who name him uh, is uh, X19 um, uh, uh, and I use this because it's something very heavy and it's look like um, very uh, so it's look like blood or something like that so it's going to have something more uh, um uh, some something more creepy on the um, on some parts because it's going to be uh brilliant and uh, and and very strange so I, I i had that on some parts to make a contrast because some um uh, flat parts and some brilliant things to have something more deeper so i had these parts on the only uh, the um, the mouth and uh, some little parts like the only one face of the tentacle, uh, the 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 one with um, with uh, the little uh, round on, and uh, on only really some parts to make a cool contrast be between the two uh, different textures. I had this uh, li uh, this little uh, texture uh, on the um, up uh, on the upside of the miniatures. There are something very weird, so I, d I decided to make that and uh, around the different eyes um, of the creature uh, to have something always more strange. Um, I put some black color in the eyes, and after I will come back with a. Um, uh, something mixed uh, between black and this uh, materials, uh, as you can see. Uh, th that's going to have something more uh, heavy and brilliant uh, on the um, hands of every little part, and in the eyes, to have something very different and very cool. The step is uh, always the same on different parts, but I um, let the video continue to show you how I put it and how that can be very um, quickly uh, do. Um, don't hesitate if you have any, any comments uh, or uh, if you have any, um, uh, if you want something uh, very precise about um, tutorial, don't hesitate to ask in the comments. And don't hesitate to uh, share this video and to um, subscribe to my YouTube channel to be sure to don't uh, uh, lose uh, one or two uh, videos. As you can see, I put always more and more black 
on small parts uh, to have a good contrast. And um, now I'm going to add some uh, special effect water. It's something very easy to put. It's not uh, resin. Um, so it's more easy to, to make some small uh, things like that. And I am going to put this on the base to have something uh, will look like uh, water. Um, at, the, at this moment, uh, I, I'm not in the good uh, position to, to make the video, but I want to show you uh, uh, just some few parts uh, to be sure so you can uh, more easily understand. Um. Just to finish, I had uh, one more time a little bit uh, black on some uh, parts to be sure that the, everything is very uh, black on uh, the haze and on some uh, end of parts and uh, here is the result so i hope you like the video don't hesitate uh, to support us on kickstarter uh, don't hesitate to ask if you want uh, specific miniatures see you